Yo, fine scouts and intrepid internet travelers. <laughs> right away. I just can't en enunciate. Let's try this again. Yo, fine scouts and intrepid internet travelers. Welcome to my channel. I'm Josh, your binge buffoon. If you will have me, please and thank you. Today, I'm going to be watching episode 7, 8, and 9 of Andor. Apologies off the bat if I seem sluggish in the first inning of this. Not 45 minutes ago, I sat down with a bag of ranch Doritos. And handful by handful, I just kept telling myself it would be over soon. I haven't felt the same since. But <clears throat> I have caffeine, and I'm going to do my best. Anyway, the last episode saw Gorn, Terramen, Little Space Karl Marx, and Mr. Arm and Hammer Deodorant. Uh, meet their end during the Aldani heist. And then Cassian shot Skeen dead after the heist. Now Andor has cut and run with his cut of the credits. And Karis's manifesto, which will no doubt play a role in inspiring him to find Luthen and Val following whatever he experiences in the upcoming episodes. Also, Luthen is in a good mood. My dearest Mon Mothma has a problematic family dynamic. Karn's uncle Harlow lurks in the shadows while his mother belittles him. And Deidre can do anything a man can do, but better. As Marva, Bix, and Mosk, we haven't seen in a minute, await their return. So yeah, I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Reaction channel. Let's ride the coattails of other people's art. Sorry. I just thought it would be funny to jam in a way that was completely offbeat and ridiculous to frustrate you people watching. Oh, Cyril Karn, you've really kind of grown on me, and, uh, and, uh, I just sympathize with you. Just trying to make it in the world. Blue milk, once again. It's your interview. Perhaps you would like to come along. Purple Hollow's influence is not a thing to be trifled with. Recall it. What about it? It's high. You've had it raised. Everything says something, Cyril. I've tried to make you understand. Wow, she's a lot. Extremely controlling. They talk about Uncle Harlow like he's some sort of mob boss. Oh, he's going to see the news report about what happened on Aldani and it's going to spark something in him. Bravo. They attacked the garrison. They'll regret it. The criminal is responsible for last night's atrocity on Aldani. I think they've taken the... Uh, I like how it cut to the white suit. That Deidre's putting on. With the collar race, you know. To close our fist. Following measures will be adopted empire-wide as of today. A tribute tax equal to five times the amount stolen. Mm. Any sector harboring partisan activity. We will make it clear that no one steals from the empire. Yeah, but you know, we know what happens when you with when taxation happens without representation. Their response to the heist is just going to inspire more rebels because they're going to come down harder. Order yeah, the, later today. Their response is just going to end up upset people. D. Any criminal act. And in a roundabout way benefit the rebellion. Will henceforth be branded our class 1 offense. All prison sentences are immediately re-evaluated. Yeah. All outstanding fines and... It's just extremism where, you know, on one side always results in extremism on the other side. Straight into that. And galvanizes the people. Rebels. Yeah, see, she knows. Exactly it's exactly what they want. We're treating what happened at Aldani like a robbery. What would you call it? An announcement. Yeah. She's fucking smart, man. Mon Mothma. Without warning, wipe the smile off your face. Who doesn't love an unsolicited visit from the dearest on Mothma? It's the best. We're on our way to the Senate. I realized we'd be passing by. 
I'll be right back. <coughs> what do you mean? The garrison, old army. Ah, oh, is it true? Claire was just. I don't think a driver can hear you. Do something like this. <laughs> How I wish I had. Let's have a look. Revolutions are expensive. I told you I'm doing everything I can. <laughs> Your everything seemed to be all about bringing in a savior to access your family funds. It was you, wasn't it? I thought you were here to tell me about the meeting. It's tonight. They may reschedule. We started. You told me we were building. Yeah. Network. What were my words? This is something else entirely. You knew where this was going. You've always known. Has anyone ever made a weapon that wasn't used? Wow. The network's been built. It's up. Mm. I get that she would probably want to. Yeah, she wanted things to be more delicate, but that's not really how these things go. Exactly. We need. Yeah. We need the mm -hmm. fear. This is just what I was saying. We need them to overreact. Yeah. Overreaction's good. People will suffer. That's the plan. I'm just saying out loud what you already know. No <sighs> rules going forward. If you're not willing to risk your conscience... I do have mixed feelings about this, though, obviously. I'm afraid I won't be taking either of these pieces this morning. <laughs> I have some new things coming in very, very soon. It's funny how this conversation just put all that into context for me. I get where they're both coming from. I hope she's worth it. And just I was about as I was about to back well, we'll see. Luthen's perspective a hundred percent. I thought about Mission Impossible Fallout. At the beginning of the movie they have that extremist that they trick into giving up uh the name of the main villain and his manifesto in that manifesto that they read at the beginning of the movie, he says something like, there could be no peace without first great suffering. And that just, God, that mirrors what Luther was just saying. And that's not a good thing, uh, man. I don't know. Because when you think about the rebellion in the Star Wars universe, you think about Luke Skywalker and all these admirable heroes and deplorable villains everything's very black and white it's good that this show's dancing and playing around with There's the gray area you know murderer running free because of corruption and laxity in the corporate authority i was punished for trying to uphold the it's like people who make that argument well, luke amazing. blew up the death star but what about all the people working on the death star all those people just trying to put food on the table i fully intend to clear my name and have my record expunged why don't we start that process now we just Happen to have an immediate opening in fuel purity. Wow, uh, cubicle office job. It's not what he was hoping for. It's giving off some Melisandre vibes. I like it. When in doubt, just reference Game of Thrones. I seem to be doing that. At ease, attendant. Yes, sir. Ma'am. Sir. Your tunic. Sorry, sir. Ma'am. <laughs> I need a multi sector data blend going back two years. I want a record of all missing avionics, comm, navigation, and targeting equipment. Oh. For which star system? All star yeah. systems. Can I rely on you for that level of discretion? Absolutely. Yes. Can do. Will do. Will do. I don't know if the plan is to still look for some sort of pattern, prove that it, there's a coordinated effort to steal Imperial equipment and equip the Rebellion, maybe predict tracking equipment that has been stolen. I don't know. Where is, is Val's he? other girlfriend? I shouldn't even be here. The money's safe. I really thought he'd be here. Luthen? Every loss is different. Everyone's the same. Yeah. I recruited Taramin myself. Nemec, go on, they'll all be remembered. Will they, though? Because I didn't know who they were till this show. We have a loose end. Cassian Andor. We can't have him walking around with Luthen in his head. Ooh. You mean kill Oh, yeah. This is what Oh, that's what she means. Huh. How new to the game is Val? If... 
she has these sensibilities still. These moral sensibilities, you know what I mean? Is he going home to see... Hey, Marva. I was hoping he'd go home. Even though that doesn't seem like a smart move right now, given the heat on his back. Well, I mean, if he's got all this money, he can help out his his loved ones, family, friends. Hopefully, help out Marva. Hey, ma. I'm rich, bitch. You can't stay here, Cass. It's not. It safe. certainly is not. Is now. Yep. That was fast. Yeah. They came the next day. Ferrix is under Imperial authority. Right. Nope. Someone turned me in. It was Tim. It's Tim. It's Tim. It's Tim. No point in stewing over it. He's yeah, dead. Yeah, R.I.P. Corpus killed him when they were coming out. What a guy. How do you know all this? No, and everyone knows it. Yeah. Biggs knew about it? No. It's all come undone. We're getting out of here. We're leaving. To go where? Anywhere we want. I have all this money. I've got enough credits to get us anywhere. Get out of the cold and done. Find somewhere warm. Uneasy. There's this incredulous look on her face. What is she gonna say it's now? Be different now. Oh, she really does look at her like a mother. Dear, it's such a big idea, you know. I, I get so tired. You surprised me. It's late. Yeah, yeah. You, you get a rest. I'll check up on Biggs. I really want to know what Marva's thinking right now, because that was such a. Yeah, what's going on? She dying or something? Damn. It's what I say when I see my dearest Mon Mothma. Sorry we're not having dinner. How long are you staying? I'm back to Chandrilla tomorrow. We're both a long way from where we started. Have I changed so much? We've all had to adapt. Is it that bad? I just can't imagine living here. Just this glimpse of what it's like here, what you have to do. Yeah. It's like the capital of the galaxy, pretty much. Can I trust you? Politically, at least. Can I call back our old kinship? And... Is he the guy that she was saying he was gonna, she was going to confide in and hopefully uh, extract some funds from? Is Tay Coma one of my oldest friends? How do you do? We've met before. It's been a long time, and you've certainly grown up. Mm. So everyone says. Typical banker. No one pays me to be original. Banker, yeah. I've spent a great deal of time thinking about this conversation, Tay. Is she still going to tell him about the things and the people and the and her involvement in all this death and destruction for good reasons? Because I need your help. Boy. Is this personal or well, both? I've done more than grow weary of the Empire. I'm afraid you'd find my politics a bit strong for your taste. Oh, maybe not, bud. Empire, you're with these people all the time. I'm not sure you're aware how far afield some of us... Ooh, this might... They might be... A, she's looking a little smirk on her face. She's like, I think we have more in common than you think. Keep smiling. <laughs> If we're having a happy chat about childhood days. I'm not sure I understand. Not at all, man. Do you see what people say about me? It's a clear picture. Right, of she's done a really good job. This indecisive senator who spends the days fighting and failing to protect separatist do gooders battle empire overreach. I've been wondering all day how I could be sure of confiding in you. Right. It's a lie. The Mon Mothma people think they know. Very well crafted one is too. I've learned from Palpatine. I show you the stone in my hand. You miss the knife at your throat. Another just a wonderfully crafted line. I feel like he might be he might turn on her though. Because as long as everyone thinks I'm an irritation, there's a good chance they'll miss what I'm really doing. What are you really doing? Raising money. I need help. Raising money for what? Forming a Chandra and Charitable Outreach Program. 
they'll ask you to be chairman. It will appear to be another of my benevolent and useless mm. irritations. You have an answer my question. And I won't. You're better off not knowing. But yeah, good. What's so brilliant about what she's doing is that you'd expect the person who's completely and utterly loyal to the Empire publicly to be the one, you know, doing things behind the scenes because they'd be so terrified of showing their hand at all, but she's showing just a little bit. No one's going to suspect her necessarily. Because it's a ballsy thing to do, really. I didn't articulate that very well, but you know what I'm saying. The Doritos. Mon Mothma's got big ass metaphorical cojones. Hey. What are you doing here? Bix. My dearest Bix. It's not happy I with Cassian. When your father caught me climbing over the oh, wall. Yep. When people are mad at you, that's what you, the first thing you should do is uh, manipulate them with nostalgia. Words. It's not safe here. Tim? I guess he thought you and I were back together. What happened oh, to you? Oh no, she all beat up. I ran into a wall like Yeah, I that did happen. People blame you for what happened. You killed two <sighs> corpos and came home to hide. Yeah, it's a you scam. You borrow. You lie. You disappear. But you need to get as far away from here as you can. I will. Ouch. Well, yeah, you should. I, I understand. Pack introduced us, but Swerzy doesn't know either. I have a call. I call. I wait. Sometimes he responds. Oh, he's gonna try and get a hold of me. Yeah. Oh. I, I don't know. And you're right. He did. You ever talk to him again? Tell him I held up my end of the deal. And he needs to forget about me. Uh, he does suspect that they're coming after him. Yeah, well, they would. It's like I said, once you're in, you're in. Or you're out in the fatal way. It's everything I owe. Be careful, Cass. You too. I really hope she goes with him or she gets involved somehow. I don't want her to sit here on Eric's. This is not our podcast. Hey, guys, calm down. You're only making me. What's happening here? Flashback to. Oh, his adoptive father. This is when he's going to get hanged? Ready, home. Shot in the street? What a. Oh, dude, what a way to. Cut away at, right as he looks at Kaz. I mean, we know what happened. You haven't done much packing. She says we can't go. Yeah, me? I saw that coming. She won't leave the people. I'm not going. Yeah. What are you talking about? I'm staying. But it's it's not safe. I know all that. I can't be here. They look up to her around here and even more reason for her to be here because she leaves imagine what that would do to morale yeah well we'll find a place they haven't ruined yet i'm already there the place is in my head they can build as many barracks as they like they'll never find me fucking a the rebellion what ferrix has been hiding long enough it's overdue and probably doomed and i'm too old and i don't care anymore then yesterday I heard about this attack at Aldani. Have you heard about this? If there are heroes brave enough to take on a whole imperial hey, garrison, tell her it was you. Brave enough to stick it out here. This is a flashback to when he was a kid taking on these troopers. Aldani was just a robbery. People are standing up. It wasn't just a robbery. <laughs> what the Empire will say, but. You can't beat them, Marva. Not if I run away. Which is exactly what he's doing. Path, Cass, and I am not judging you. I'll be worrying about you all the time. That's just love. Nothing you can do about that. I've never loved anything the way I love you.
You can't stay, and I can't go. Oh. Tell me you understand. I don't. You will, you, you'll see. Stop searching for your sister, it's a fantasy. I forgot, <laughs> dude, I forgot about her sister. His sister, I forgot about his sister. I can't imagine he just will never find her though. But it would be tragic if he's just chasing his tail, you know. I guess there is always something on the horizon for him, right? He's not, he's trying to ignore what's in front of him. By scamming and stealing and, yeah, I'm just going to get away. I'm just going to find my sister. I'm not going to live in the now and reality. Yeah. God, and that's, it's, you know, that, not to say it's necessarily wrong in the real world, but that's what so many of us do when it comes to politics. We just don't look at it. We don't, we just distract ourselves with everything else, the things we can control. But when it gets to this point, there's not, you can't control anything, so you might as well try to control the things that seem impossible. Protocols as described in the ISB Code of Conduct are being violated by Supervisor Miro, and that this overreach, for which she was previously reprimanded. Supervisor Miro, do you mind having your integrity ventilated in public? No, sir. It's interesting Supervisor that they're Miro framing... Code of conduct, ...a more interesting subject than the advancement of integrated imperial security. Like, she's the antagonist, but we... We are we rooting for her to put these dudes in their place? I use the Imperial Emergency Act in the wake of Aldani to gather data across multiple sectors without official sanction, but that is the wrong question. She wouldn't get sanction, that's why, if she asked. Do you really think the rebels care about the lines we draw on maps? Is it there is a focused, organized rebel effort to acquire highly restricted Imperial military components. This is hard, verifiable data you are prepared to present? Yes, sir. Isn't it? This actress is doing a great job because she went from vaguely panicked to now extremely confident. I'm wondering where we'd be right now if everyone here showed the same endeavor as Supervisor Vera. <laughs> I kind of, I kind of like this. The Even though, fuck all the these people, you know, Vera, within the the scope of what's happening. Her and has clearly become a distraction for you. This is good drama, man. Uh, well played. Thank you, sir. Watch your back. Damn. What is this? What's with this music and now this scenic views? I feel like I'm about to watch a music video. Hey. About to meet some new characters? Oh, yeah, he's just banging. Oh, he really just got out of there quick. We need pizzas. Don't forget the pizzas. We don't have pizzas? Pizzas and Revlock. Booze and snacks, I'm assuming. <laughs> He's really just partying. On vacation. I didn't expect him to do this, to actually bail like that. Uh, what's... So now he's going to see the Empire's presence sort of take over what he would consider paradise. And it, it, and then realize that there really just is no escape. That this threat to, to life itself needs to be dealt with. The harmony in the galaxy. Just trying to you keep out. looking around. Part of what? Don't play dumb. No, I'm on my way to the store. You need to back up. Why would I be running? Because you're a part of it. I can wait for you here if you want. They're just asking random people who look suspicious if they're a part of the rebellion. I don't know anybody here. I'm a tourist. Is this what's his face? The droid from Rogue One? I forget his name. God damn it. And he's gonna reprogram him? What is he? No, this is crazy. Hang on to this one for me. I want to I know there's multiple droids like this. Obviously, okay. No. It's not the one, same one. No, you 
No, he... He meant to watch. No, no, he means watch. <laughs> Oh, he's gonna get imprisoned? This is really one hell of a wake up call. Charges, civil disruption, anti imperial speech, <laughs> fleeing the scene of anti imperial oh activity, say attempted damage to imperial. Wow. I'm sorry, there's something wrong. Six years. Six years? What? Just a tourist. Are <sighs> whoa! I hope he escapes because I'm not about to. Uh, this flash forward's gonna bum me the fuck out. I think I said something about Cassian being in prison for six years and it flashes forward. Obviously, this takes place five years before Rogue Run, so that's not possible. saw a clip on YouTube, which I didn't watch, it was just recommended, of all of Andor's title cards put together, what it sounds like, you know. Watch that when this is over. Look at me. Keith just imprisoned for existing. New place of work really gives off some severance vibes. I raised the collar on his suit. It's cool how they're cutting back and forth between Cassie and Keith and Karn because, like, they're both sort of imprisoned right now, or at least in places they don't want to be. I've been reviewing the incident. I was planning on calling you in to fill some gaps in the report. Deidre, Deidre and Cyril. Because meeting you're submitting requests to the Bureau of Standards Data Center looking for Cassian and or this is interesting reports you've been at the Bureau of Standards for less than a month and you filed five false inquiries six actually I wasn't counting this morning <laughs> Cassian and or is a murderer and a threat to the Empire I have been trying with the limited tools available to find him so this is about public safety no well yeah no you have engaged the curiosity of the ISB he likes it, probably. Now, is there anything you'd care to tell me before I waste more of my time figuring out what it I is? I think she's doing? probably going to be intrigued by his tenacity. One would think you'd want to leave Ferrix as far behind as possible. Mm -hmm. And she's interested in the events on Ferrix as well, so... What's not in Lieutenant Blevins' report that oh. I need to know? I have no idea. I wasn't allowed to see She's going to show you. Sexual tension? I don't know. Probably not. Give him Blevins' report. Let him read it. Yeah. Normally it doesn't look that CGI, but that looked really CGI. This is like the Raft prison in you know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Except they have a bunch of them. Star Park unit. Oh. It was stolen from yeah, the Steergard Naval the... Yard last year. We don't know when it was taken Eric's. because Steergard was afraid to disclose its theft and thought they could hide its absence. I'm <laughs> I know that uh, Tom Selleck, you know, the Imperial's Tom Selleck, is a an, an, uh, long running Star Wars character, but I forget his name. Starts with an F. Maybe not F. Maybe V. Something like that centrality to what we believe to be an organized rebel effort to acquire specialized imperial gear this is quite the wish list it's a large investment it's a fraction of the price of lost technology she's so good at intensity find this thief and then what identify axis they escaped together it's the first best lead we've had so Ferrix was a mistake it's the first mm. one he's made 
Barracks was an act of desperation. He just needed to. He just needed a another body for that for the Aldani mission. At some point, they have to find out who he is, right? Because he's in the system from before when when he was incarcerated for attacking those. I think they were clone troopers back then. After when they hung his uh, Clem Senior, even though there's only one Clem, but you know what I mean. He temporarily took on the mantle of Clem. So you'd think they have, I don't know, Prince? Something on file. Factory facility. You've all been assessed as labor worthy. And following this introduction, you'll be transferred to your level assignment and workroom. Now, those who've been incarcerated before will be surprised by the calm, sanitary conditions and our minimally invasive enforcement technique. <laughs> That sounds too not true. And how we risk standing before you without weapons. It's yeah, what's the answer? Shock collars or something? Oh. The fuck is that? It was a hell of a lot more intense than shock collars. That was level what's, one. What is do, on their purse? Oh, okay. Here's the explanation. Do your time productively. Keep to your lane, and this needn't be. No, that wasn't an explanation. What's on their person that's acting as a conduit for that electricity or the shock? Oh, they're barefoot. Let's talk about the accomplice you encountered before they mm. escaped. You told Lieutenant Levin that Andor was in the company of an older man. Well, all... seasoned, Stellan is. Marinating like a fine gonna say wine but steaks marinate so just a good slab of beef that man i was a good deputy inspector you were to be fair that was very good i solved a double murder and found the killer it's true and they wouldn't even uh, ambitious yes, even if time was slipping. sought him out had it not been for his actions it's clear you need andor it's also clear that whatever this is is more important than the death of two corporate mm. security guards it could be a valuable asset going forward let's go surreal Raise the alarm one more time, and it won't be me you're speaking to. Just get him back into the game. I want Karn starting on game day. I like him, gosh darn it. Do it. You'd really lose your mind in this... This facility, this Clorox facility, you know? If I have to use it... They're short-handed down there. They had to pull a guy out from four. I came as quick as I could. Pull a guy out? What kind of work they doing in there? Oh. This is Unit 52D. Level 5 from. My name is Kino Loy. I'm the 52D. Andy Circus. The 49 men in this room answer to me. Is he. Okay. Doesn't matter, obviously, but Andy Circus was. Um... In the sequels, he did the motion capture for Snoke. Not that that matters. Snoke was just a failed Palpatine clone. And this, he's just another character, whatever. You play against all the other tables in this room. I play against all the other rooms. Play. I have 200. Oh, yeah, he's just an unfilled prisoner. Obviously, he's a I have garb. A free hand in how I run this room. I'm used to seeing my room in the top three on the level. Don't ever slow up my line. Table five. I'm, I'm, I think I've seen stills of him in this show, so I'm not as surprised as I would have been had I not seen things online. Um, I'm still happy to see him. Hey, new guy. Prepared to fry. Keith. What? It's his name, right? What a considerate fella. Right. They're assembling something, I don't know. This will be a sprint segment. 39 minutes on the tongue. As ever, the least productive table will be disciplined. It's a clever way to incentivize in inmates to be more productive. Essentially making it like a squid game scenario. Just gonna stand there and not do anything? Okay. Not for me. No, I'll have hers. My dearest man. You used to like it. 
I was just better at pretending. I hope we grow fond of Perrin in the coming episodes. Good luck the galaxy. I'm off to feed myself. Charity begins at home. Leader, uh, we've met. Indeed. You're here all the time now. Learning to love. I feel like this is gonna be the misdirect of Mon Mothma's uh, plotline. Is we're going? If anyone would be to portray her, I think we'd probably suspect Perrin at this point, but. The money I've moved it's her daughter that I'd be most worried about. Away. We'll find a way to explain it. Teenagers just make impulsive decisions. Impulsive and spiteful. And Pyrrhon would naturally be more aware of consequences. He's got all this surface level snark. And he's perhaps even annoyed with Mon's uh, political exploits. But even though he doesn't know, the, if he ever were to find out the extent of what she's really doing, he probably wouldn't make the comments he makes. Oh, they're communicating. Good. Is there going to be a mass prison break? What is public order? The Emperor's primary charge is to protect us, is it not? Without limit. If you're doing nothing wrong, what is there to fear? Well, I'm fearing your definition of wrong. Right. This is our block. You see the one? God, it was so smart to include Mon's storyline. This is you. Everything you need here is on the wall. And food? The two. You can get as much as you want. Winner gets taste with oh, food. Oh, jeez. Top table wins flavor. Last place gets fried. So what did you do? Nothing. Not that lately. <laughs> they doubled everyone's number last month. P-O-R-D. It's been a tough month here waiting for news. Can't help but wonder what people are saying. Sentences. I feel sorry. All the rebel activity. It's rebel nonsense. I don't know anything about it. They slaughtered a garrison. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they did. We did hear that. That the whole garrison is just. Double, triple. It doesn't matter. Hey! You're until they don't want you anymore. Get, up. Get straight with that. You don't walk in your sleep, do you? What? You'll find out sort of thinking about like did the troopers have quotas or arrest sentencing to just to, to adequately you know staff this place probably get fried if you lose your cell obviously no mom became a senator at 16. wow no we'd already been married a year hmm huh. i should have made some sort of comment on them getting married at 16 but whatever go for it yeah you leave your cell you get fried and there's no doors Nothing keeping you from sleepwalking like you asked. 30 shifts later. You don't look good. We did get a little flash forward there. Oh, wow. Nothing like being nude with a bunch of dudes. Uh, bonding. Bonding with the bros. Nobody looked down. Nobody looked to the side. Just straight ahead. We're not here to compare, guys. Just working with what we got. What is it they're assembling though? Am I slow? Ready up. If I had to guess, each sector or whatever is assembling a different part. No one prisoner would know exactly what they are make, building in its entirety. They take all the pieces, put them together, that sort of thing. We're back on Ferrix. This guy, Marva. Stop complaining if you tell me Dix and Marva having a conversation. I don't remember. This hasn't happened before in this series. I'm just trying to figure out if you need a doctor or not. She has been. Oh, no. My doctor was here yesterday. Your breathing sounds weak. I have to carry you back here. Ooh, it travels fast. She fell. Damn it. She fell trying to pry open the old Ritz floodgate. She wanted to see if the tunnel under the hotel was still open. So the rebellion can oh. take them by surprise. I should be coming by more often. It's not your mother. It's kind of losing it. She can't stay here much longer. But yes, she's gonna draw attention to herself. Guys, in. You really don't know where he is. Nope. We know where Keith is, though. Who? 
Bella on Ferrix? Oh, well, yeah, she's got to kill Cassian. Well, at least he's safe in prison in the middle of some random ocean. Of sorts. There's a room to rent around the corner. Two of us would draw too much attention. Haven't we been apart long enough? You think the Empire stops to catch its breath? I guess the Empire would be homophobic, but you wouldn't think that that'd, even be, that'd be taboo in any way in this galaxy far, far away. I mean, they're doing inner species. Dudes are mating with Twi'lex or with other aliens. I'm a mirror, Phil. You love me because I show you what you need oh, to see. Oh, man. That's a truth bomb. This is where she, where she sent a signal to Luthen in one of the earlier episodes. Or, oh, obviously she's going to try and contact him again. See if it does anything. The shop owner mm. on Ferrix. She's trying to find Cassian Andor. Yeah. Mother is Ill. She might have a lead. Yeah, more likely it's the ISB working her radio. Are you guessing? And you're slipping. It's true, he is. We're shutting down Ferrix. The code, the frequency, Probably the all of it. I'm thinking move. clearly and you're not. I'm not slipping, Claire. I've just been hiding for too long. It's all different now. We're going loud. Vulnerability right. is inevitable. I suppose that makes sense. You're just taking a lot of risks now. Shut it down. <sighs> Very much a waste of time for her. Coordinate alternatives for Sigurd. Where are you going, you silver haired fox? Rerouting. Set Romano. Okay. Fuck is this guy doing? Don't do it, bro. Damn. Suicide, that's pretty dark for Star Wars. Disney. What's happening? Brother, take my father. Tell me oh. where is he? Where is my father? Is Pick's gonna get involved. Yeah. Look at this. Colleen. Vix. Look at this fucking fuck. I can get this whole beast run. Get her. I'm like I get I get that they want I I mean I understand why they want Bex. How did she get away before? Or am I just forgetting what they said in the last episode? Is that you? Oh, Saul Guerrero! You never tell You me. radical motherfucker! You're probably best friends with Stellan here, Luthen. Let's agree, it was a masterpiece. Wow, well, now I'm sure. <laughs> Tell me what you've got. Well, how about a full set of Imperial drive adapters? I also got three sealed steer guards. Wow, he's, he's arming Saul and his his extremists. Ooh. We need the Empire to help. We need them angry. We need them coming down hard. I don't know. Mon's really the voice of reason in this show, Fresh I suppose, on the rebellion end of things. Kriegers, a scientist, <laughs> oh. human cultists, galaxy petitionist. They're lost. All of them lost. What? Fuse, maybe? I'm gonna dial it back a little bit. What are you? I don't think Luther knows. Just here, man. I'm a coward. I was gonna say bad motherfucker, but okay. I'm the one who says we'll die with nothing. If we don't put aside our petty difference. Petty. Yeah, petty. That's what I'm saying. I am the only one. Clarity of purpose. Alright. At least you, you're, but yeah, but you're crazy. It's your way or the highway, Saul, which makes you no better than the Empire in in, in many ways. Forrest, Forrest Whitaker giving it 110 percent, though, as always. No, this fucking Homelander. I wanted to see him. The early years, this guy. 
Oh, I didn't. I didn't think these guys would be meeting this soon. Quickly. You two with me. Hello. You touch her, Deidre. Oh man, he's just he's just lost himself. He's on autopilot right now. The look on his face. Diego Luna killed that. They did a really good job portraying this sort of like monotonous existence just written all over his face. The life in his eyes just gone. Wow. I, I just, I don't know how he gets out of there. And I don't know how the events of Ferrix are going to play into his story or Luthan's sto Luther story or Mon's story. That's a good thing. It's Friday. And I, um, I went on and had some drinks, but we're going to do this reaction anyway, because why not ride the wave? What is life if not chaos? Yes. I wore this shirt because it doesn't fit my biceps. But it's not Friday, it's Thursday. Friday just sounded more socially acceptable. I took the button up off. Couldn't feel my hands. And here we are. Nobody's listening. Episode 9 of Andor. There's an exclamation mark at the end of this episode title. It better be fucking fire because I need that right now. Well, very Blade Runner-esque intro today. God, Deidre can look mean. You pull in the net is to assume that everything you've dragged to shore is a fish i have colleagues who believe that's the prudent mindset mm. this unknown woman who recruited him to the cause is using your planet's unique commercial position to acquire stolen imperial equipment whoa did you know salmon park was paid to keep that radio alive did you know you were the only one to use it your contact met park only once before being turned over to you what? you're in my net bigs are you a fish or are you a thief? Hmm? Well, she's a thief. She's not this informed. No recorded history of political troublemaking. Yeah, she don't know. You're going to tell me absolutely everything you know about the buyer. You're going to tell me all about Cassie and Andor and their relationship. They don't have a relationship. Of every single piece of stone and imperial equipment you've passed along. Jesus Christ, how much, how many pieces of stolen Imperial equipment has Bix? Oy, oy, oy. When was the last time you spoke with Cassie and Andor? Um. Who? The very worst thing you can do right now is bore me. Oh. Deidre is. Sexy. Best job. She's all yours, Dr. Cole. Mean. Thank you. Uh, probably was bullied a lot in school. Now relishes in the opportunity to victimize others. I still can't believe that uh, Andy Circus is just a fellow Inside. prisoner. Fly. He'll get some monologues. Something dope to do. Cassin's just in it now. He's just dumb for this. My hand. I might need some help. The twitch. What? Come on. What's all this? Oh, just a little rebalancing. And. Andy Sergis, if no one's ever told you this before, you got great fucking hair. Just swap your idea. Me? No. Tiger. Are you kidding? Turn. Wise move. Generous. Oh, the. The restraints are nothing to be feared. There's nothing intrinsically um, this feels... physical about this process. That we've had some early trials that were a bit chaotic. Deidre, if you in any way harm my dearest Bix. There was a sentient species there, quite unusual. Extremely hostile to the concept. Not Deidre, but this, this, this fucking... I say was, because they created chest, such a stir. Chest. 
champion, calculus, accelerated class, once upon a time blonde motherfucker. We've taken the recordings and we found a section of what we believe are primarily children. Oh, which has its own god particular effect. Doesn't take long. Q. Spectacular you. acting Sorry. moment for. Hold on, I gotta find this actress's name. I should have found it out a long time ago. I know she was in Narcos and a bunch of other stuff. She's amazing. It's repeat listenings that cause the most damage. Adria something. I can't pronounce her name. I'm not gonna try it. Sorry, everyone. Oh, jeez. Yeah, you're. She's doing some acting. Wow. <laughs> I love how they cut that to the, uh, the grinding. What's this? All right, Cassian. On program, new man on the floor. Everyone hold position. Two men back, two weapons. No boots. Hold that lift. Believe me now, the elevator's not wired. Nothing that moves can fry you. Oh, wow. Okay. We attack while they're coming down. Oh, we make it stop. We shut it down halfway. Take one guard, one weapon. I love that we're finding out that Cassian is already involved in, I guess, an escape plan. And this is how we're finding out. So they're gonna storm the elevator or the lift in this room? Oh, oh my god. Damn it, Bix! That is good acting though. Shout out to uh, actress. So we begin. When was the last time you spoke with Cassian Andor? I am. I uh, don't like you, Deidre. I can do it. I know. Ready up? I'm ready. Yeah, but dude, old dude, you probably planned this whole thing and are in charge, and then years later, you're gonna tell us how you just want to feel alive again because you're so fucking rich. Squid Game reference, but I'll probably cut this out. Do you think I don't want to win? I'm Keep her here. Keep her alive. As a hostage. Keep her alive? God, who can identify Axis? Axis is the code name for Luthen, right? I'd like to hang him. What's left of him, anyway? Make sure they know who's in charge. As you wish. Is there a more important issue facing this body right now than Imperial overreach? Overreach is an understatement! On an all too predictable march toward complete unchallenged yeah. authority. He does. <laughs> I stand here today to speak with senators who come with open minds. Fuck, imagine this. <sighs> what? Your cousin? At the embassy. She's there now. Cousin? Do we know who her cousin is? Watch it be someone we've already met. It has to be. That's how this that's how good stories go. Something's wrong. Whatever it is, they're taking their time about it. What's going on? What are they saying? I think it's level two. What is her the fuck up? What's he saying? Level two. Say? He's coming this way around now. Well, what's he saying? What? What was that? Yeah. I think someone didn't load in, they are counting. So they cut the power? I don't think so. I'm saying it's wrong! Let's go. This is an opportunity. You haven't got a clue what they are saying. Level two, far side! Level two. Andy Circus is just so institutionalized, it's crazy. Panicking about something that's happening on the other side of the building! Yes, but you've got to stand in place on program. Beat down, face front, and get facility compliance, or we will begin activating floors without warning. What the fuck is going on? Me. Your father may have an opinion. We'll see if he lets you wear it. He lets me do anything I want. Well, why don't you go try it on? 
Um, what? I don't have enough to worry about. Look at you. The Empire doesn't rest one. The Rebellion comes first. I'm gonna yawn quick with that because I... What? Seriously, Bill. What does he have for you doing? So... Hmm. What do you mean who? This is just what I was going to say is that Luthen, Val, Mon, they were tied together like this. You took a bow. It fits. <laughs> of course. Of course. I'm sure you've thought about it. <laughs> How many guards on each level? You want out of here a lot. I feel like this is the last guy to talk to, Cassian. The dude who just wants to suck off the Imperials right now just because he might get out tomorrow. Not tomorrow, but 300 whatever days. 217. 217. So? Chips. I mean. Tell me, you think they care what we say? Uh, yeah. You think they're listening? Maybe. I don't know if Ants could talk in an ant farm. Would we listen? Probably. I forget Ray of Sunshine's name, but, uh... Listening. Listening. I don't think that nobody's listening. Andor. He's all the way through this. Yes, and that's what I'd like to highlight. Andor returned to Ferex three nights after Aldani with money in his pocket. You're trying to connect Aldani? Yeah, Look. He was clean shaven. Yeah. Okay. And all had shaved. I really hope Cassian's not forced into the rebellion because he's been tied to all this. I want it to be his decision. You didn't question the mother? I decided to wait. But yeah. Leave fucking Marva alone. And if nothing else, she's our bait. She's the reason. Are they going to do that or are they going to use her as bait? I'll cry. Have you heard? What? What happened to you and 2-5? They're all gone. Okay. We had a team go down. He said they find the whole bridge. Speak. Holy shit. We're gonna do it. What are you gonna do? Yeah, or say, it, Andy? On program. Speak down. We will have immediate facility compliance for program. Yeah. We don't know. We set them all free. Fuck. <laughs> program. What the fuck is going on in your head, Andy? Comb that hair back, you beautiful son of a bitch. There you go. It's a rumor. True. Maybe it's not. That's fair. I'm, we... That's the accurate description of a rumor. If I had a child and they asked me what a rumor was, that's what I would say. It's just information. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's not. Um, that's a rumor. Rubbers. Oh, fucking Karn, surreal. Hello. Look, I'm gonna be honest. I genuinely didn't think Karn would st would still be out of um. Would still be at home at this point. Prepare two meals a day. I move mountains to scrape you off the floor and put you back on your feet. And what do I reap? What is the return on my investment? We Jesus. Come on, boys. Just the one night, though. <sighs> the way in which they cut back and forth between like the people who are suffering the most or subjected to the most cruelty or uh, just injustice to these elites is it's effective and disorienting mother's old boyfriend what is that something you've told her did you the key word is old dear, my dearest mon mothma did you bang tay yes these days no one ever calls me tedious tay colma look at all these like those sort of looks. Be a spoiled rich girl for a while. Yeah. Remind Masquerade. You who you are. Yeah. We'll try. Yeah, do it. I want some of that hug right now. It's the time of night, that's all. Like that shot. Could be your Christmas card. Uh, from Coruscant. This is my life now. Fucking A, Bix. You've been through it. When are we gonna see Mosk again? Oh! Uh... 
you were kind. I know who you are. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? I... I like you. Out here. Yes. I'd never lie to you. I'd never lie to you? I need to thank you for what you did. What is this? Even she's like, what the fuck? We had last month. That wasn't a conversation. You were brought in. <laughs> yeah, what's going on here? You're stalking me. Yeah, you're you read some signals that might not exist here, Karn. You knew and discovering you understood how dangerous Cassie Nandor was and just being in your presence. I I realized that life was worth living. I realized that if nothing else, there was justice and beauty in the galaxy. I should write this down. <laughs> and say this to women. <laughs> what the fuck? What are you talking about, man? This is strange. I get it, kind of, but... You're out of your mind. I have already given you a second chance. You come near me again, you pursue any of this, and I swear I'll have you in a cage on the outer rim. I have a weird suspicion that she liked everything he just said in a roundabout way. The more she thinks about it. That's Deidre's old face. Just disgust. Sorry. That was not dignified in any way. It's all unless they scan the accounts. Time is not unlimited. But it is relative. We need... Yeah. A Chandra and banker. Davos Calden. He is not a banker. No. He's a thug. The wealthiest thug of them all. Don't Your only options are people with seriously dirty hands. You know, blood on their hands. It's the beauty of the show and can't do good and be righteous the entire time. It's not possible. Not when the dominant power in the universe is tyranny. Or fascism, I suppose. An accident, something mechanical. Have the pilot found dead in the cockpit. What would happen? Free. If we did it quickly, staged it properly, let it drift into traffic. Make it so top priority quick. What, a trap? Oh, well, that's smart. <laughs> nah, man. I man, I kind of saw that coming. Damn it. Get him. Hang in there, Raph. You've only got a few shifts left. Well, a massive bald spot. Don't worry, it's growing for me too. His name's Olaf. I've seen him before. Hold that. What do you mean? His name is Olaf. I don't want to know his name. He's got 40 shifts left. He just wants to stay disconnected just... because he's... Imagine what he's seen. They're going to put him down. You can't save him. Fucking Nothing dog. Nothing to save. He's had a massive stroke. Oh my god. Oh, doing? it's a lethal uh. I can't help anyone. I need a bag in the trolley. He's not here to help. He's just here to man see if they're going to be able to still. Oh. Pass peacefully, which is more than I can say for the rest of us. Another week like this, and you'll be begging for what he's getting. What do you mean? Yeah, what? He's passed. <gasps> what do you mean? Keep my men in line. What happened down on two? I think I misread where Circus's storyline's going here. Is he going to be some sort of leader in a way that's going to make me want to cr crush a beer can on my head? Ended up back on two the next day. Well, got out on the floor and then they killed them all. You need those other men there. Nobody leaves. No one leaves. You heard me. No one leaves. No one's getting out, are they? Not now. Not after this. Holy shit. Let's go. Oh Let's go, Andy! Let's go! Never more than 12. Oh my god. <laughs> Nobody's listening, exclamation mark. Nobody's listening. They're gonna make him listen. Holy fuck. <laughs> 